Okay, grade 11 so today we're going to be doing a perspective drawing for you guys so normally when you're given perspective in grade 11 and matric you have two point perspective and when you were in grade 10 you had one point perspective so it makes things a little bit different but i promise you it's not difficult so today we're going to do an easy example of a perspective drawing and you will see i've got a piece of paper over here we have got different views so obviously the top We've got the left and we've got the right and now we're going to draw it in so the first rule that you have when you have a perspective drawing is you're always going to find the angle that the top view is sitting at so here it is sitting at an angle of 45 degrees and it is also sitting on an angle at an angle of 45 degrees on the other side so we're going to use that in order to find our vanishing points so you're going to take from the sp point you're going to draw a line and you're going to take a line down for your right vanishing point okay and then you are going to do the same for your points over here so you have an sp point you are going to draw a line going up and a line going down onto the horizontal line and you will have your left vanishing point so your vanishing points must always touch the horizontal line and i'm saying this now because sometimes when you have an exam they trick you and they put the picture plane up here and they put the horizontal line all the way here next to the shapes right and you will have to bring your line down onto your horizontal line to get your vanishing point so just be aware of that for future I'm just letting you know now okay so once you have got that we obviously want to get this uh, start of the shape in and in order to do that we are going to need to draw our points that's touching the picture plane straight down so here the rules don't change it's going to go straight down from this line onto the line your ground line okay to get the height you're going to take it across straight onto that line so there we've got our height and we are going to draw let me use a different color just in case you guys can't see this so you're going to draw from the bottom line a line going to your rvp so you're going to have a line doing that and then from this point you are going to have a line going to your RVP as well because obviously that's the height of these over here and you will do the same thing on the other side because obviously the height is the same so you'll take your line over there and you'll take your line over there so you should have something that looks like this for now so now the next step is always to take these points to your SP so you're going to take the edge over here to your SP and you're going to drop it on the picture plane. You're going to do the same with this point over here. Okay. So now that you have done that, we're going to do the next step, which is get the end over here onto our construction lines. And so it will be this over here. And if I have to draw it in a little bit darker for you, so that you can see the edges it will be this over here okay so now we're going to do the same on the other side we are going to grab the edges and we're going to bring it to our sp so we're going to take this point over here to our sp and this point over here to our sp okay and then we are going to do the exact same thing as we did and we are going to grab this point stick it on this line over here and obviously we're going to just make these lines solid because this is your drawing right over here okay so there we've got that over there so now we obviously realized we've got slopes we can see that we've got two slopes and a little height or like a corner at the back where the slope slopes are coming from and we want to find that so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to complete our 
square by drawing in our little lines. So we're going to draw a construction line going from this point all the way to the LVP and from this point all the way to the RVP. So there we've got our back point over there. Let me just check that this is correct. The lines look a little bit skewed. Okay, there we go. It's fine. All right, so now we obviously want to get the complete height and we are going to use obviously the height over here. So we're going to bring it across and we're going to drop it on this line over here. So there's a rule that you need to know and that is that every time you need a height, you can only bring it across onto the line that is touching the picture plane. I mean, not the picture plane, the ground line. So you can't draw it on a line if you had like a construction line over there or something. You can only draw it on the line that is touching the ground line. Okay, so once we have got that line, we are going to do the next step and we are going to take those lines to the RVP from both, I mean the RVP and the LVP from both little sides. Okay, so it should look like that. Then we obviously want to get the back of our um square so we're going to bring this line up as a light construction line that's obviously the edge of the drawing over there let me just make it a little bit darker for you guys and we're going to do the same on the other side okay so you should have this so far so now we obviously know this is where it's touching the height line and it's touching the height line over here so we are going to bring these lines across to our LVP as well as our RVP so that we have this over here. Now we obviously want to grab or get the back corner and you'll see we've already brought these lines down so we're just going to bring it straight down onto the line where we made the height and then we obviously have oops, this one over here so let me just double check that one that one's correct okay so you have your two points and again you're going to bring it to your rvp as well as your lvp so you're going to bring it back and you are going to bring it back here as well okay and there you'll see you've got your little square at the back so you can draw that in solid you should have a little square like that and then you can obviously bring these points down onto your line over here and onto the edge of the line over here and the reason why is because now you're going to connect your points so you're going to connect the end over there to that point over there and you're going to do the same with this one over here okay and you're going to do the same on the other side and the same on the other side and then what you're going to do next is you're obviously going to bring these lines across from here. So you'll have a line going across like that and to your RVP as well. And then obviously where they touch is where the edge of the line is. And then you're going to make that solid. And the reason why it's at such a weird angle, because now it's like a little bit of a diamond shape, is because if you were a man standing here and looking at it, that's what you would see. That's the perspective you would see. Okay. So in order to get to understand the more complex uh, perspective drawings, it is important that you understand these little drawings. Um, you have like a couple in your workbooks, so it's under, it's important that you obviously understand those drawings in order to understand um, the more complex drawings where we get to drawing houses and things like that, okay? So I hope this helped.